Let's move on and solve some questions based on compound interest and simple interest. The first question is what amount is to be repaid on loan for rupees 12,000 for one whole one by two years at 10% per annum compounded half yearly. Please make a notice the interest is calculated compound interest that is clear with the question. Here they are mentioning particularly that they are calculating the interest on half yearly basis. That means whatever rate of interest was provided, the rate of interest was per annum. That is that was for the period of whole 12 months. But here we are calculating the interest on half yearly basis. That means our interest will get reduced to half. So now the principal that we have is rupees 12,000. The rate of interest for half yearly purposes will remain 5% and the time period would be 3 half years. Clear? Now let me introduce you with another formula for calculating amount directly. The other way is I will be solving it from both the ways but I want you to understand this formula as well. So let us discuss the formula says amount is equal to the principal into 1 plus rate upon 100 raised to power n. So over here the principal is 12,000 in brackets 1 plus 5 over 100 raised to power 3. This solves equal to 12,105 upon 100 raised to power 3. Further solving would get me 13891.50 as the amount for 3 e half years. Right? But now let us check our answer the other way that we used to solve. For first principle would remain the same that is 12,000. The time period is 3 half years. Right? So I can write the time period as 1 by 2 for each case. Right? Now the rate of interest would remain 5%. Let us calculate the simple interest for one year. For first year the simple interest would be 12 thousand into 5 into 1 by 2 or you can here you would don't read to don't need to write 5 why because I'm already making the time period as half if I'm not making the time period half I can make the rate 5 percent that depends a whole upon 100 now over here the rate has already reduced to 5 so this solves to 600 because these zeros get cancelled we get 600 as the interest for first year. Now the amount for the first year would be 12,000 plus 600. Now this solves to 12,600. Now this is the amount for first year. This is going to become my principal for the second year. So let us solve 12,600 into 10 into again 1 by 2. How many half years are we taking? 3 half years. So we have to calculate simple interest for each case. Whole divided with 100. Now 2 and 5 zeros get cancelled. We get the answer as 5 6 are 30, 3 carry, 5 2 are 10 and 3 1, 5 1 are 5 and 6. Now the simple interest is 630. The amount would be 1 2 6 double 0 plus 630. Adding it up we get 1 3 2 3 0. Again for the third year the simple interest will be calculated with 1 3 2 3 0 into 10 into 1 by 2 upon 100. On solving, we would get 2 6 as 12, 2 6 as 12, 2 1s are 2.5. This is the simple interest. The final amount or the amount for third year would be equal to 13230 plus 661.5 that is equal to 13891.50. Now you can yourself make out over here that no matter even if you use the formula directly see that formula actually reduces your time right. So whenever possible please try and use the formula itself that reduces your amount of time expenditure. Now let us move on to the second question. Fabina borrows rupees 12,500 at 12% rate per annum that means the principal is also provided to us that is rupees 12,500. The rate is given to us which is 12% and time period is also provided to us which is 3 years. And Radha borrows the same amount for same period at 10% per annum. 
now this was the data was given for fabina we are going to write the data for radha as well for radha the principal is going to remain the same that is rupees 12500 for rate of interest has changed to 10% compounded annually right who pays more now the time period is also going to remain the same that is 3 years now there is one very small difference fabina had for fabina the simple interest has been calculated whereas for radha we calculate the compound interest so we have to check who pays more and by how much let us start calculating over here we have to calculate simple interest so let us start simple interest would be equal to 10500 into 12 into 3 over 100 now on solving we get 125 into 36 now on solving this let us get 6 fives as 30 Six twos are twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and one. Six ones are six and seven. Three fives are fifteen, one. Three twos are six plus one, seven. Three ones are three. We get zero, ten, fifteen, and four. So this is the simple interest that Fabina is getting. What will be the amount for her? It would be twelve thousand five hundred plus forty five hundred. That would give us the amount. Zero 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 one four five six and seven seventeen thousand. Let us try the calculations for Radha now because she was going to pay the compound interest. So we will be doing compound interest for her. That means simple interest for first year would be twelve thousand five hundred multiplied with ten into one upon hundred. Zeros get cancelled. The simple interest we get is one two. Five zero. The amount for first year would be one two five zero plus twelve thousand five hundred. That gives us zero five seven three one. Now this amount becomes the principal for the second year. That would be one three seven five zero into ten into one whole upon hundred. Zeros get cancelled, so the simple interest comes out to be one three seven five. Again, the amount for second year. Would be one three seven five plus one three seven five zero. That would be five seven plus five twelve. One carry seven plus three ten and one eleven. One three four and one five and one. That becomes the amount for second year. Again, simple interest for the third year. One five one two five into ten into one whole upon hundred. Zeros get cancelled. We get one five one two point. Five as the simple interest for the amount we would add this to the principal for the third year that was one five one two five. On adding we would get one two one two five one five one two five point zero plus one five one two point five. So we get five seven three six six and one. This is the amount that. she is going to pay at the end of third year now who is paying higher obviously fabina is going to pay higher by how much you will subtract the values and give the answer you subtract 17 uh, 16 16637.5 out of the 17000 and you will come to know the value of how much who has paid more let us move on to the third question It says a TV was bought at a price of rupees twenty one thousand. So we can write the cost price or the principal price as rupees twenty one thousand only, right? After one year, the value of TV depreciated by five percent. Now the depreciation term here means that the value is getting reduced by five percent after one year. So find the value of TV after one year. That means simply the value depreciated can be calculated. Value depreciated would be equal to how much? Five percent of twenty-one thousand. That would be equal to five upon hundred into twenty-one thousand. On solving, you would get zero five one zero five zero as the depreciating value. Now, after one after one year, the value that you will be getting would be twenty-one thousand. Minus one zero five zero, giving you one nine nine five zero 
rupees as the value of the TV. That means even after buying a TV for the first year of at rupees twenty one thousand, after one year, if the person wants to resell it, its value get reduced by five percent. So now he would be able to sell the TV at nineteen thousand nine hundred fifty rupees.